Hello everyone, this is Shukesh Panik once again and today I'll be doing a full review on this new Samsung Galaxy J5. Well, I had some mixed experience with this phone and I will talk about all the pros and cons of this phone and also my final recommendation. Well, as you know, this device is retailing in India only on Flipkart for around 11999 that is 190 US dollars and for the price, the spec sheet looks really impressive considering this is a Samsung device. I have added a Flipkart link in the description below so you can check that out if you want to buy this or check the availability because this device is in quite demand actually. In addition to this as you know Flipkart also sells the all new Motorola Moto G 3rd generation which is priced at 12999 for the 16GB variant and exactly same 11999 for the 8GB variant and the specs of these two devices are actually very similar. In fact, the similarly priced 8GB variant of the Moto G3 is basically inferior to the J5 regarding the RAM. The design and exterior build of these devices are quite good for entry level devices but I'll personally go for the Moto G3 because it's water resistant and the design is not as repetitive as the Samsung one here. Now if you ask me about the display, I will say the Super AMOLED display on the J5 is actually far superior to the IPS1 especially in viewing angles. As you can see the IPS1 actually fades and the brightness decreases significantly but the Super AMOLED display on the J5 shines from each and every angle. But from the front both of these two devices look quite similar. Overall, the display on this device is the main attraction and uh, it's as you know a 5 inches HD display with 294 ppi. From this normal distance, the individual pixels are not visible at all. Overall, the display on this J5 is exceptionally good for its price. There at the bottom, you get the typical hard volume key along with your capacitive back and multitasking keys. The ear speaker grill is at the top and as you can see there is a camera flash right in here at the front of this phone. It's basically a continuous LED just like a torch, does not trigger any flash. Unfortunately on this J5 there is no ambient light sensor, so no auto brightness control though there is an outdoor mode for better visibility in sunlight especially because it's a super AMOLED display. The proximity sensor is present on the phone so don't worry. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel autofocus shooter with full HD recording and the camera on this phone is another reason you should get this phone. This one captures 13 megapixel autofocused images with maximum aperture of f1.9 and the LED flash and the loudspeaker are on the either side of the camera. The video capability is up to full HD. The back is matte finished with slight shiny golden tint and the bezel is rounded. The chrome finish is quite bright and very reflective. The bottom part of the bezel is flat and overall the design of this phone is as you know quite repetitive but the build quality feels quite good. It's the microphone and there is no secondary microphone. The micro USB port is in here and this is the 3.5mm headset jack. This time there is nothing at the top, though there is actually a sticker of Qualcomm 4G because this is a 4G device. As you know, you get Airtel 4G SIM upgrade with this phone. The power button is at the left of the phone and there is the volume rocker. Overall, the build quality of this phone is actually not bad. The phone weights 146 gram and the thickness is 7.9 mm which is ok but it's far better than the 11.6 mm thickness of the Moto G3. The display once again is spectacular and if you haven't used a super AMOLED display then you will be just blown away by the color and the crispness of the pixels. Now the micro USB port is OTG capable that is you can attach your external storage like your pen drive or your hard disk which uses external power source. Now I am attaching this pen drive and in addition to this you can also connect a keyboard or a mouse and get a PC like experience. You can use the file manager to access the files on the pen drive and uh, there you go the pen drive has been detected and uh, in this way you can enhance the storage on the phone. The internal space is only 8GB and you get around 4.3GB free for the user. 
which is too low actually and there is also a micro sd card slot which supports up to 128 gig now let's check the speaker on the phone and uh, I'll not say it's very loud but it's decent and enough for watching movies handheld. The clarity of the speaker is not bad actually. Ringtones are much louder than this. So overall there is no issue no complaint about the loudspeaker and the ear speaker or the earpiece is also loud enough. Next let's talk about the battery which is of 2600 mAh and the flagship S6 sports a smaller battery. The battery on this device is outstanding I am getting more than 2 days on normal to heavy uses and for an android device it's really great. If you are looking for a long lasting battery phone then definitely go for this Galaxy J5. There are some very handy power saving modes as well. The CPU clock speed gets restricted in this mode and there is also an ultra power saving mode which basically terminates all the background process except for very vital applications like the calling, messaging, browser etc. So with only 10% battery you might get a full day's backup with this ultra power saving mode. Now this device is running on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop which is the latest version at this moment and the interface is TouchWiz UI UX and uh, so far it's quite smooth and lag free. Apps open quite fast there is no considerable lag or flicker. I've done a speed test in between this J5 and the Moto G3. The G3 performs slightly better than this J5 but that's not very significant overall. The TouchWiz interface is quite responsive and very intuitive as well. The screen has all FOB coating that's why it's very smooth and there is no fingerprint as well. Samsung Knox is an application that creates separate space for your work or personal life and it's password protected. For example, if you just click an image in the Samsung Knox mode, then it will not show up on your normal gallery. All the things you do in the Knox mode, for example, if you call a person, send a message, browse the internet or even play a game, you can keep all of this personal. In this way, you can maintain a separate profile on this J5. The clicked image is not showing up here, but if you go to the Knox mode and hit the gallery, the private images will be shown only. The Knox mode can be enabled instantly from the app or you can just put a timer like 5 or 10 minutes and the power key or screen off can automatically lock the Knox as well. Now you don't get this pre-installed into the phone but you can just go to the smart manager device security and click on this Samsung My Knox option and install. Now device security also offers protection from adware and malware. You can do a whole device scan from here and uh, it's good to see an embedded system security software on this Android device. Previously the service was provided by McAfee software security but now it's Intel security. Next the RAM on this phone is 1.5 gig which is ample for gaming and uh, at this moment after using this device for a while I am getting 492 MB free for the user which is not bad actually. Lots of apps are running at this moment and uh, let's clean all of these apps and see what's the free RAM. This button also clears your temporary and cache files. Now let's see what's the free RAM and it's 681 MB which is decent for hardcore gaming. Now let's quickly talk about the vital system applications for example the dialer over here. The calling experience on this J5 is flawless, the speaker is good and the microphone is also I think great. There is a video calling option right on the dialer and uh, the messaging experience on the phone is also nice. The Samsung keyboard's height can be adjusted and the continuous input on a Samsung device is I think the best as I mentioned before on the unboxing and hands on. You can enable the continuous input from here and there are lots of features like predictive text and also autocorrect, autocomplete etc. Overall the writing experience on this J5 is superb. 
Let's now quickly check the browsing experience on this J5 and one of the very few problems I'm facing on this J5 is that the Wi-Fi is not stable and I'm not getting the optimum speed. It's a single band Wi-Fi but still the Wi-Fi speed is not as good as I expected. The site is still loading and uh, it's also slightly laggy because it's loading so the browsing experience on this phone is not the best. Let me quickly show you a few important settings. For example, in the SIM card manager, there is a smart dual SIM option that is, you can still get calls from the SIM 2 even when you are busy on the SIM 1. You will get notification of waiting and the notification window over here is very simple. You get the notifications here and the toggles are here. Just press and hold to access this and there is a torch and also a do not disturb option. You can customize this as you wish and uh, allow calls, messages, alarm etc. App notifications can be blocked as well and uh, you can schedule this do not disturb service. In the apps drawer there are lots of system applications and very few Samsung apps but Samsung included this Galaxy apps option where you will find smart applications of Samsung. There are exclusive Galaxy apps as well so Samsung saved the internal space by not preloading these apps but on the apps drawer you will find some bloatware apps mainly some trial versions of paid games samsung stated they are providing 30 to 100 rupees worth of games and you will find those games here in the galaxy app store now the samsung galaxy j5 can be customized with the help of themes so without any third party launcher you can change the whole look of the device including the dialer the apps drawer and also the notification center each and everything on the device Numerous themes can be downloaded from the theme store and uh, this is the notification center and uh, the dialer is also changed. Let me give you a glimpse of the theme store. There are hundreds of free and paid themes to your test. Few Microsoft apps and services like OneNote, OneDrive, Skype are preloaded and uh, here on the apps drawer, as I mentioned before, there are lots of bloatware like these trial games and uh, these are eating up lots of space on the storage which is already quite low. Well guys, now I'll talk about the overall performance of this device especially in gaming and uh, I'm facing some issues actually. Big sized games are not getting downloaded, I'm getting error and the games I've downloaded are actually quite laggy. Interestingly, Samsung is promoting this J5 and J7 as gaming devices but the lags I am facing are quite disappointing. I think Samsung will fix this issue as soon as possible and if you happen to have a J5 then please share with me whether you are facing this type of issues. The game is now running quite smooth. Now I have run some benchmarks and the results are actually not bad. The CPU here is a 1.19 GHz quad-core Cortex-A53 and uh, the GPU is Adreno 306. So the CPU and GPU are not bad and uh, the chipset is a Snapdragon 410. Surprisingly, there are very few sensors on this phone. As a gaming device, Samsung should have included at least the basic ones. The multi-touch capability of the phone is also up to two fingers, which is also unacceptable. On the Antutu 5 benchmark, you are getting 21,855, which is quite well for an entry-level device. This is the details you can pause and check. Next, let's check the Nina Mark 2 benchmark and the graphics FPS is 54, which is also decent. On the 3D Mark Gamers benchmark, I got 4352, which is a basic result but quite well for an entry level device. So, Galaxy J5 is basically a multimedia device with great display, battery, camera, etc. Not mainly a gaming phone as Samsung is promoting. Now, I'll check the camera as well, which is the best feature on this J5. I think the camera on this device is slightly better than that of the Moto G3. As you know, the rear camera is a 13 megapixel shooter and the autofocus speed and the accuracy is excellent and f1.9 aperture helps in low light photography. 
I will upload some camera samples into my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal and also into my web page gadgets portal dot in slash camera hyphen samples. The focusing speed is great and the details recorded are just fine. This is a very low light photo and the black levels are noise free and the focusing seems accurate as well. There is also good amount of bokeh as you can see guys. The camera app is also feature rich. You can click on the modes or just swipe on the viewfinder to get different modes like the pro over here. This enables you to control the ISO, the white balance and the exposure manually. Other modes include panorama, continuous shot, beauty face etc. Beauty face airbrushes your faces and sound and shot actually captures 9 seconds of the background sound. Sports mode is for capturing fast moving objects. The front facing camera also captures quality 5 megapixel images and shoots full HD videos. There is also a gesture support that is just show your hand and an image will be captured automatically. If you love to take selfies then this is the phone for you guys and there are lots of modes as well including the wide selfie mode that is the phone will capture a mini panorama and it's very helpful for taking group selfies. If you love to capture multiple selfies with different posture then interval shot will click 4 images with 3 seconds interval. Well friends we are almost at the end of this review and overall this Galaxy J5 is a fantastic device for the price and the interface is very smooth, the camera, the battery, display each and everything on this phone is great. The issues I mentioned might be specific to this device and uh, Samsung can resolve these issues with software upgrades. So my final verdict is get this device you will not be disappointed. Thanks a lot for watching guys, you can check the description below for more videos on this J5 and also on the Moto G 3rd generation, I will review the Galaxy J7 as soon as possible. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel and if you have found my video at least a little bit helpful then please consider liking this video and sharing with your friends. You can buy this J5 from the link in the description below, I will get a very small referral fee from Flipkart. Well guys that's all for now, thanks a lot for watching, bye bye and keep in touch.